Hey, good afternoon. Today um, I'm going to do the first half of primary series of Ashtanga Yoga. Um, we'll go up to boat pose and then we'll do um, the three closing postures, the three final postures after that. Um, but it, it should be about 45 minutes, uh, maybe a little more, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to talk through it, so it might end up stretching it out a bit, but um, hopefully this helps you in your own practice. You know, on days when you feel like you don't have either the time or the energy to do the full primary series. So thanks for watching. Hope you're doing awesome. I'm standing by your side, Samasitihi, connecting your breath and your bandhas. So your namaskar A, inhale, reach up, palms together, look up. Exhale, fold over, hands to forehead to knees. Inhale, head up only. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Notice drishti. Exhale, downward facing dog. Navel drishti. Walking those feet in, bringing the heels to the floor. One. Two. forward. Exhale, head into your knees. Inhale, reach up, look up your thumbs. Exhale, arms are down by your side. Samasitihi. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, head is up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One. Two. Exhale, head into your knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Samasiddhi. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, heart lifts. Exhale, downward dog, hips lift. One. Two. Inhale, reach up. 
exhale, Samasthiti. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, head is up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Exhale, head into your knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Samasthiti. Last A. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. One. Two. Three. Five, inhale, come forward. Exhale, head to your knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Samasthiti, Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, head up home. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward, left heel to the floor. Inhale, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. One. Two, three, four, five, and he'll come forward. Exhale, head to your knees. Inhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samasthiti. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, head is up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right foot forward, inhale, Warrior One, Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Left foot forward, inhale, Virabhadrasana A. 
exhale, Chaturanga Dhanyasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. One. Two. Head into your knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samasuti. Last one. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, heads up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, inhale, we'll reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, head into your knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samasutihi. Inhale, widen your feet hip width. Two fists if you need to measure. Exhale, fold and grab your big toes and fold into your legs. Karangustasana. Looking towards your nose, shoulders away from ears. One. Two, three, four, five, inhale, lift your head, exhale, inhale, hands underneath your feet, Exhale, fold back in, Padahastasana. Look to your nose, shift some weight to your hands, lift the shoulders away from the ears. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, come all the way to Samasuti. Inhale, turn to your right and take a wide step. I'm going to turn left just because of camera placement. So we're going to have the right foot out, reaching down for the big toe on the right foot. Left hand is up to sky. We take to Trikonasana, triangle pose, gazing up at the top hand. One. Two. Three, four, five, inhale, rise, turn your feet right and left out. Exhale, reach down for your little left big toe, first two fingers and thumb, right hand is up, look up. One, two, Three, 
four, five, inhale, rise, turn your feet, left and right out, exhale, right hand is down, inside or outside of foot, preferably, right hand is up to sky, looking up at right hand, breathing with your thumb disengaged, one, two, Three, four, five, inhale, rise, untwist, turn your feet, exhale, right hand is down, left hand is up this time, top arm lifts, look up your top hand, one, Two, three, four, five, inhale, rise, untwist. Exhale, Samasthiti. Inhale, turn to your right again. Again, I'm gonna turn left. Turn the right foot out. Exhale, bend the right knee as deep as you can. Try and get the right thigh parallel. Put the right hand on the floor outside of the right foot. Reach the left arm forward. Looking at the left hand, roll the heart open to the ceiling. Utita Parsva One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, rise, turn. Exhale, bend the left knee deeply. Again, try to go for the parallel with that thigh. Back leg is strong, left arm outside of foot, right arm forward. Looking at the right hand, allow the heart to roll to the sky. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, rise, turn your feet. Exhale, bend the right knee deeply, hook the outside of the left arm to the outside of the right leg. Hands can be in prayer or full expression. Left armpit around the leg, left palm grounded on the floor, back heel is down, right arm is forward. Look at the top hand and roll open, Bhargavi to Parsvakanasana. One. Two, three, four, five, inhale, rise, turn, exhale, bend the left knee deeply, hook the outside of your right arm to the outside of your left leg. Again, hands in prayer is an option, or right palm grounded, back heel on the ground, left arm forward. Rolling open. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, rise. Arm twist. Whoop. <laughs> Exhale, Thomas to take. Inhale, turn to your right, take a wide step. Hands around the waist, feet are parallel this time. So my big toes are pointing forward. Exhale, hands to the floor between the feet or a little bit in front if you need it. Inhale, lift the head, look forward. Exhale, squeeze your bundles, fold down, prasarita padatanasana A. If head isn't touching, you might in the step a little bit to get the head on the floor, looking to your nose. One. Two, three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, hands on your waist, come up, exhale, inhale, arms out to the side, exhale, hands on to your waist, deep inhale. Exhale, fold down. 
on top of the head toward the floor, hands stay on the waist, look to your nose, Prasarita Padatanasana B. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, and release them behind the low back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Roll the arms away from the lower back. Try to put the head on the floor. And try to get the pinkies to work toward the floor behind the head. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands onto the waist. Inhale. Maybe shorten the stance if you need it. Exhale, fold. Grab your big toes. First two fingers and thumb. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, fold down. Prasarita Padatanasana D. Look to your nose. Thighs are strong. One. Two. Three. Four. Exhale. Inhale, hands on your waist, come up. Exhale, Sama Sutti. Feet together, arms by your side. Inhale, turn to your right again. Turn the right foot back. Exhale, fold into your right leg, Parsvottanasana. Head, head on the knee or chin toward the shin. Again, you can bend the front leg. Straight leg nice and, uh, back leg nice and straight. One, two, three, four, five, and he'll rise, turn, exhale, fold into your left leg. One, think left hip up, right thigh in. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, rise. Exhale, Samasutti. So technically now we begin primary series. We'll start with Ratita Asta Padangustasana. First option I'm gonna show you, you're gonna inhale, take the knee up, interlace the shins on the knee while you balance in that left leg. Full expression, right leg up, grab the big toe. Exhale, fold into your right leg as you pull that leg about parallel, maybe a little bit higher, folding your head in towards your knee or your chin to your shin. One, two, Three, four, five, inhale, head up. Exhale, bring the right leg to your right and look over the left shoulder. Make sure your standing leg is nice and straight. One, two, three, Four, five, inhale, leg back to center. Exhale, fold back in. Inhale, come up, put your hands onto your waist. Lift that leg as high as you can without leaning back. One, two, three, four, five, right leg is down. Inhale, left leg 
back up. Again, you can use the shin, and when you take it out to the side, you take it out with the knee as opposed to the toe. Or, full expression, you're gonna grab the big toe straight out in front of you, and exhale, fold your upper body into that left leg. Try not to topple over. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, come up. Exhale, left leg to your left and look right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, leg to center. Exhale, fold back in. Inhale, come up. Put your hands onto the waist. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, left leg down, arms down, Samasuki. Ardha Baddha Padma Uttanasana. Inhale, right leg up to half lotus. So that means foot is in the hip, so the foot faces up to the ceiling. If that's not available, you can take the leg a little lower, just hang on to it. Foot above the knee is an option. Any knee problems, you can also just take tree pose. Whatever variation works for your knee. So full expression, right leg up to half lotus. Reach around the back, grab the big toe if you can. Folding over then, putting the hand on the floor next to the foot. And fold your head into your knee. We'll stay here for five breaths. One, two, three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, rise, exhale, right leg is down, inhale, left leg up to half lotus. That's our Ardhavada. Again, you can take foot above the knee or tree variation. And then reach around the back, grab the big toe. Folding over, put the hand next to the foot. And as you straighten your leg, fold your head into your knee. One. Two. Three. Four, five, inhale, head lifts. Exhale, inhale, rise up. Exhale, Samasutihi. Inhale, reach up, look up for your thumb. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, head is up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, carries you to Utkatasana at the top of your mat. Feet are together, knees are together, palms are together. Look up at your thumbs and lift your heart. One. Two. Three. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, head up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward, left heel to the floor. So take a nice big step for warrior one. Trying to get that right thigh parallel. Reaching up, palms together, look at your thumbs. One, make sure the left leg is nice and strong. Two, drawing the right hip back as much as you can. Three, four, five, inhale, straighten your front leg, turn your feet. Exhale, bend the left knee this time, coming into warrior one on your left side, draw the left hip back, right thigh is nice and strong. Look up at the thumbs, one, two, three, 
two, three, four, five. Open to warrior two on your left side. So you're gonna notice the hips are gonna wanna be a little wonky here. Really allow that right thigh to roll out. The left knee is gonna drop in toward the midline. Pull that out too. And then see if you can tuck your butt underneath you. Bend that left knee a lot, draw in on your bundus within your left hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, straighten your left leg. Turn your feet. Exhale, bend the right knee, warrior one right side. Again, that right knee might want to drop in toward the midline. Line it up with your big toe, second toe. Look over your right hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, both hands down to the floor. Exhale, step back, chaturanga. Or foot if it's in your practice. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Jump through or step through, have a seat. We're going to start out with our seated postures. Dandasana sets us up. Feet are straight, legs are straight. Toes flex back to the face. Hands are by the bottom. Heart is lifted. Chin is tucked toward the chest, but not touching it. Look into your nose. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, reach for your big toes. Squeeze your bundles. Exhale, fold into your legs. So don't think about pulling out from the lower back. Just think about sinking towards your legs. And as you get closer, then see if you can drop your head to your knee or your chin to your shin and maybe look at your toes if it doesn't strain the neck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale. Inhale, switch your grip. Come into Paschimottanasana. Be thumb underneath the big toe. Rest of the hand outside of the foot. Push with the thumb. Pull with the hand. Squeeze your bundles. Fold back in. Head on knee or chin on shin. One. Two. Three. Relax the shoulders. Four. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale. Inhale, switch your grip. Passion with Tanasana. See if we're going to take opposite wrists here. You can also interlace the hands or maybe take the bottoms of your feet if opposite wrist isn't available. Exhale, fold back in. One, two, three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, cross your legs, pick up, so you can cross and just lift and step back. Or you can lift and roll over the palms of your knees, move your hands and step back, or you can pick up and jump back. Inhale, upward dog from Chaturanga. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. Purvotanasana, reverse tabletop is an option depending on your back and your knees and how tight your hips are. So you can always take it with bent knees and feet about hip width apart. Full expression, legs are straight, hands are about six inches behind you. Press through the hands, press through the feet, lift the heart, the hips and heart, and drop the head back. Look at your nose. 
one, two, three, four, five, lower your hips, cross your legs, inhale, pick up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, inhale, jump through, Ardhavada Padma Paschimottanasana. We're going to put the right leg in half lotus. If half lotus isn't available, again, always check in with your knees. You can always put above the left knee. If leg is in lotus, reach the right arm around the back. Go for the big toe bind. First two fingers and thumb. Whether you have the toe bind or not, fold over the left leg. <laughs> Trying to put your head on your knee or your chin to your shin. One. Two, three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, cross your legs, pick up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, inhale, jump through. Left leg in half lotus, right leg out stretch. Again, left foot above the knee is an option. If the leg is in lotus, reach the left arm around the back, grab the big toe. Fold over the right leg, whether you have the big toe or not. One. Two. Three. Four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, cross your legs, pick up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. We'll take a different jump through for the next one, Tiryana Mukha Kapata Pashimottanasana. Inhale, jump through with your right leg tucked and your left leg straight. Or just take this shape when you get down here, so tuck the right foot beside the bottom. Left leg is straight. Knees are kind of close together. You can smush them together, but it might knock you out of balance. So keep them where you need to to hold your balance. And I like to lift my left hip up, pull some of the extra thigh out of the way. Now, if you have any knee pain in this, you can always sit on a block to take this posture. Wherever you are, pulling in on the bandhas. Really deep, kind of curve in the low back. Keep the fold into the left leg. If you can, dropping head to knee or chin on chin. One, two, three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, pick yourself up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through, left leg tucked, right leg straight. Or just come straight to the pose once you get down to the floor. Again, trying to get both hips situated on the floor. So I'm gonna lift my right hip up, scoot some of the extra stuff out of the way. Pull in on my bandhas, pull over. You might notice a difference one side to the other. For me, this side's a little tighter, so it's a little bit harder to take this side. One, but the more I concentrate on getting my hips to stay grounded, the better it feels. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale, head up. Exhale. Inhale, pick yourself up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. Janu Shoshasana X. We're going to sit up with the right foot on the inside of the left thigh. I'll be able to show you better on the other side, but my heel is really close to my groin. I also kind of like to feel my lower back to see 
are both my hips aligned in the back because that's really important for your help, hip health and low back health. I'm gonna turn my upper body to face my left leg. That's gonna line my sternum up with my knee. Folding over, dropping my head onto my knee or my chin onto my shin, but just relaxing the neck. And one. Two. Three. Four, five, inhale, head up, exhale up, inhale, cross your legs, pick up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, inhale, jump through, taking the left side, John, your your chest, and let me see if they will see it better from this side. Left foot is on the right thigh, heel is close to the groin. Now if you have knee problems, it's okay. You can take the foot out a little further. We always listen to the knees, see what the knee says. Again, check the back of the hips, see if they're lined up. Turn your upper body to face that right leg. Fold over. One. Two. Cross your legs, pick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. John Yushashasana B, right foot starts on the left thigh where we had it before. Lifting the hips up, scooting them forward, sitting on the heel. So you want that in your Mula Bandha spot. The technical uh, anatomical place is your perineum. Uh, my teacher in New York, Scott, used to say somewhere between one and two. If you know what that means, good for you. Um, if this doesn't work for your knee, you can always try A again. So I'm really going to sit in my hips, make sure that weight is on that heel, and then fold into my left leg. One, two, three, Three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, cross your legs, pick up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, inhale, jump through. Left side, John Yushashasana B. You'll be able to see this one better. Left foot starts on the right thigh where we had it before. Lifting my hips up, scooting forward, sitting on that heel, Mula Bandha spot. Make sure my hips are rooting toward the ground. Left hip may be hovering, right hip may be hovering, but I'm pulling down with those hips as I fold to face my right leg, folding over. One. Two, three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, cross your legs, pick up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, inhale, jump through. Johnny Shoshasana C. So this is the one I'm going to turn and face the camera for this one. I'm going to pull my right heel up really high. My right hip's off the ground as I get into this. So I'm pulling that heel high. I'm putting the ball of the foot on the floor. And then I'm dropping the right hip to the ground. It's almost like I'm wearing high heels in here. Which I haven't worn those in years, so it's kind of funny. Um, this might not work for your knee. You can always put a block on your hips. Or you can always do A again if this doesn't work for you. So just... You know, if you don't have a teacher right in front of you, just always listen to your knees. They're a really great teacher. All right, so we're here, turning to face the left leg, folding over and breathing. 
one. Exhale, inhale, cross your legs, kick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, jump to the group. Left side, John Yushashasana, C. So again, I'm leaning over onto the right hip. I'm pulling my left heel up as high as I can. Ball the foot is on the floor, toes are facing out about 45 degrees. Keeping that heel high, dropping the hip to the ground. Some of you guys might need to hang on to this heel as you fold, that's okay, so it doesn't go anywhere. But if you feel like you can stay here nice and sturdy, pull it over into that left leg. One, two, Cross the legs, kick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. Um, Reach out to A. I'm bending the right knee up to the ceiling, and I have about a uh, spread palm distance between my foot and my leg. That's going to get my foot directly underneath my knee. I'm taking the right arm forward, inside of the leg. Rolling the shoulder in and down, wrapping that arm around the leg. Taking the other hand behind the back, clasping hands or wrists if I can. And then I'm folding into my left leg. Something to note about the right hip is it's off the ground. One. Two. Three. Four, five, inhale, head up. Exhale, inhale, cross the legs, kick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. Second side, Marichiasana A. Left knee bends to the ceiling. Again, left foot directly underneath right knee. Left hip on the ground, but make sure you're not just kind of rolling out that way. Left hip is off, right leg is straight on the ground, toes point up to the ceiling, thigh is internally rotating. Left arm round, right arm around, taking a bind behind the back if you can, and then folding over that right leg whether you have the bind or not. One. Two, three, four, five, inhale, head up, exhale, inhale, cross the legs, kick up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Inhale, jump through. Setting up for Marichyasana B. So if Lotus is not in your practice, you're gonna right, bend the right knee to the sky, left foot behind right ankle. If you've never done this posture before, this is a great place to start, especially if you don't have access to a teacher right now. Or if you've been practicing a while, or Lotus is easy peasy for you, you're gonna pull that left leg into half Lotus. Bend the right knee to the sky. Reach forward in either instance, first legs or second legs. Reach forward with that right arm inside of the leg, wrap it around the shin. Hands together behind the back if you can. And then fold over, try and put the head on the floor. One, my right hip is completely off the ground. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
Det är min mamma här. Exhale. Inhale, cross the legs, push up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up the dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, come through. Same thing. Easier setup, modified setup. Bend the left knee to the ceiling. Tuck the right foot behind the left ankle. More experienced practitioner. Right knee to right leg in lotus, right knee to the floor, left knee to the sky. Left arm forward inside the leg, wrap the arms around the back, take a bind if you can. And then fold it over, head to the floor if you can. No strategy. One. Two. Three. Cross the legs, pick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. Marichi asana C. Bend the right knee up to the ceiling. That same fist or palm distance between your foot and leg. Left leg forward. I'm turning and twisting the upper body to the right. A good place to start with a twist is hug your knee with your left arm. Take the right hand behind the back. See if you can get your chest behind the leg as you look over the right shoulder. No weight in that back hand, so no leaning back in the back hand. Now, if all this feels really easy for you, or you have a bind in your practice, you're gonna reach the left arm to the outside of the right leg, wrap the arm around the back, take a bind, look over the right shoulder. One. Two, three, four, five, inhale, untwist, exhale, inhale, cross your legs, pick up, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, Inhale, jump. Left side, Marichyasana C. Left knee bends to the sky. Left foot underneath, left knee, right leg straight. Turning and twisting to your left. Again, you can hug that knee nice and tight. Try and get the chest behind the leg, lift the heart. We're always gonna look in the direction we're twisting, so we're looking over the left shoulder. Take the bind if you can. Lift the heart, look left. One. Two, three, four, five. Inhale and twist. Exhale. Inhale, cross your legs, pick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. Marichi Asana D, same legs as B. So if lotus is difficult or unavailable for you, right knee bends to the sky, left foot tucks behind the right ankle, right hip off the ground. If lotus works for you, go ahead and put the left leg in lotus, bend the right knee to the sky. And we're gonna twist to the right. So same options, you can hug that knee nice and tight, take the chest behind the leg, or you can reach around. This might take me a minute to kind of work my way in there. Wrap that arm around. Take the bind, hands or wrists, look over the right shoulder, and breathe and twist with a lifted heart. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, inhale and twist. Exhale. Inhale, cross the legs, pick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump through. Okay. 
Left knee bends to the sky, right foot can tuck behind the left ankle, we twist like that, or right leg in lotus. Right knee to the ground, left knee to the sky, twisting to the left. Again, hugging the knee, perfectly good option. As long as your spine is lifted straight up, that's a good way to twist, no leaning back. I'm gonna take a minute to just get in here. So I'm working my armpit around the leg. A little wobbling back and forth usually helps me. There we go, wrapping that arm around, taking the bind, looking left. One, two, three, four, five, inhale and twist, exhale. Inhale, cross your legs, pick up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, jump or step through. Just have to fix something here with the camera. Okay. Jump or step through. We're gonna come straight into boat pose. So let me just show you what that might look like. So it's a downward dog, inhale, jumping. Taking the pose straight from there. That's not available, let's work into it. So the way I like to teach boat is you hang on to your legs a little bit. You lean your upper body back just a little bit, almost like you're leaning back in a reclined chair. You can put the hands on the ground or you can hang on to the backs of your hamstrings. Lift the knees up. This feels like you can hang out here. Take the arms next to the thighs, or the next to the knees. Feels like that's too easy, take the feet up to the ceiling. But it's never about this, not like laying back and straighten the legs away from you. It's about legs up and keeping that spine straight. So let's get into it. Whatever way feels like the most, um, the way you can take it with the most integrity, let's go from there. One. Two. Three. Four, five, inhale, cross the legs, lift the hips up, try and keep the feet off the floor. Exhale, come down, inhale up to your second one. One, two, three, four, Five, cross the legs, inhale, lift. Exhale, come down, inhale up, third one. One, shoulders are away from ears. Two. Three. Four. Five, cross the legs, inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Inhale up, number four, I think. One, looking at the toes. Two, three, four, five, cross the legs, inhale, lift. Exhale, come down, inhale up, fifth and final. One, might be shaking, I am. Two, three, four, five, cross the legs. Inhale, lift, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Oof. Inhale, come through. Now, if you have a regular practice, you can keep going. You can do the second half of primary. You can do um, what I like to call back bends and upside down stuff, the full closing practice, or we can just stop right here. So we're gonna stop. You're gonna put your legs into lotus. So lotus might just be crisscross applesauce for you. It might be one leg in lotus or full expression, right leg first, left leg second, legs in lotus. Reaching for opposite elbows behind the back or taking your lotus feet. And folding over, putting your head to the floor. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, inhale, coming up, taking the thumb and the index finger together, back of the hand on the front of the knees, making sure we're sitting into the hips, so it's almost like you're slouching in the low, the low back a little without slouching, like it's like you're tucking your pelvis underneath you, drawing in on your bundus, then from there, lift the rib cage, lift the heart, drop the shoulders, and then tuck your chin toward the chest without letting it touch, and look to your nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Placing the hands somewhere between the hips and the knees. For me, it's it's right about here. And then shifting the weight into the hands, bring the shoulders forward, bend the elbows. Use that weight to lift the hips up off the ground. Chin is up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come down. Let's take one more vinyasa together and then we'll do our closing chant. So crossing the legs, picking up, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, come through. Again, you can just leave your legs in easy pose. You can put them in lotus. We'll take hands into prayer. Om Swasti Pajapya Paripalayantam Naina Margina Mahima Nishaha Go Ramanevya Shivamastu Nityam Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Namaste. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for being here or being where you are <laughs> during this time, quarantine yoga. I hope you're all safe and healthy and happy and I'll see you guys soon. Namaste.